Hi everyone and welcome back to Monica's International Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make the world famous apple strudel. I just got back from Germany and I actually uh, took a little trip to the mountains and I had a really good one in one of the restaurants. So I thought why not show it to you how it's done, right? Because I know Americans love apple strudel so let me show you how it's done. That way you can do it at home yourself. We're gonna start with 275 gram of flour. I use my KitchenAid because with the KitchenAid, the dough always comes out perfect. And if you uh, rather work with a KitchenAid so uh, you don't hurt your hands so much by kneading the dough, it's always a good choice. Then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, 30 millimeters, or I mean 30 milliliters of vegetable oil. Hundred and twenty five milliliters lukewarm water. And then you want to turn the kitchen lid on. Now I'm going to check, and I think it needs just a little more flour. Turn it on one more time. The dough is finished. It's not that sticky anymore. Now we're going to take it out. And put it in another bowl. gonna leave it in there for about 30 minutes. Alright, let's start with the apples. So it's about one kilogram apples, about five apples, and you're gonna peel them and then cut them. And of course wash them properly. And then you're gonna cut them into very thin slices. We're done now with the slicing of the apples. This is how it's supposed to look like. So I have some raisins, about 100 grams of raisins. Fifty grams of butter to pan. And let it melt. And then we're going to add some bread crumbs, about one hundred and twenty-five milligrams. Gonna let it get a little gold brown, golden brown. Oops. We're going to use the 
breadcrumbs that we just did. breadcrumbs right away. Remember they were 125 grams. And then we have your 150 gram sugar and we're gonna add about 20 gram of cinnamon. And we're gonna mix it with the sugar. soaked in rum so we're going to add also the rum to the bowl. The rum was about one-fourth of a cup. So now we're going to mix it. Let's start with the dough. Okay, now we're going to take out the dough.
added the apples now and I'm, I spread them all the way out except right here on the corners. So we're going to preheat the oven to about 350 and we're going to bake it the apple strudel for about 30 to 40 minutes until the crust gets a golden brown crust on top. And I use a pizza pan because it's kind of, it's bigger and I added some parchment paper so the strudel doesn't stick to the pan. The trick is to be really gentle because you don't want to fall apart the strudel and then lift it up on. So the apple strudel is done. It has a light the golden brown crust. And now we're gonna add on top some melted butter. Just make sure you put it all over. And then we're gonna leave it like this for about 30 minutes before we start slicing it. Don't worry if, if you sometimes have a little hole or a little, little cracks around because it does happen. It's very delicate. The dough is really delicate. So the apple strudel is done now. We can actually cut it now. And it smells delicious, let me tell you. So I'm gonna try it now. I actually also whipped up a little bit of uh, heavy heavy cream with no sugar added, anything, just plain. And I put it on top. That's what we do also in, in uh, Germany and Bavaria, actually. So let's try. Mmm. And it's so good. You can a little bit taste the rum with the raisins in it. So it makes it, it gives it a really, really good flavor. Mmm. I'm glad you were watching the video. Now you know how to make an apple strudel. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and on Facebook, Anna Monica's International Cooking. Peep, 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 Behamo Tallelie. Tschüss.